Hello everyone, today's video is all about an investment option if you are um, looking to put a few quid into someone else's company, um, how you might go about doing it. So let's just have a look at an example. So let's assume that we've got this company here, B Limited, and there's three individuals involved and the first two individuals, they've already got their own company. OK, so they've got their own company um, and then this third person that they know says, look, do you want to go into business together? Do you want to put a, a few quid into this this new co and we'll, we'll go in it and we'll, we'll spill everything, you know, three ways, um, directors, shareholders and the two guys who've got their own company say, yeah, why not? So how exactly should they do it? So one of the things they could do is just set up this new company, B Limited and have three individual shareholders. Or the other way to do it is this, because these guys have already got a company, A Limited, and they're trading, these two individuals, and this is their mate who says, well, why don't we do something together? So, but they're not gonna bring him involved in, in the business that they've already set up. This is a new thing from scratch. So how they can invest, the original two, is if their company invests in this new company. So A Limited invests in B Limited, this guy here, the third guy, he can invest as an individual. So you've got a corporate shareholder and an individual shareholder and how they would do it. These guys would subscribe for nominal share capital. Let's say 67 one pound shares. This guy's got 33. That's your two thirds, one third. But that's a company that owns that. And then any money that they want to put in over and above that, which I'm sure they do. Let's say they're putting in a few grand or even a few tens of thousands. Well, that can be loaned in company to company loan repayable as and when the arrangement is to repay that back but the point is that they wouldn't put that money in as share capital over and above the nominal amount it doesn't have to be a great big amount of share premium just going as a loan so the, the seed funded that he might have put a few quid in as well via director's loan this is an intercompany loan and then what happens is hopefully this business takes off be limited makes a few quid do a bit of tax planning whatever's left post-corporation tax profits, so then they're divvied out. This guy gets a dividend, taxable at that point, but this company, A Limited, which is a corporate shareholder of B Limited, the dividend to it as a shareholder is tax-free if it stays in A Limited. So it's a good way to do it for, for several reasons, but that being one of them, that the dividend from B Limited to A Limited is not taxable. The tax leakage on the dividend only occurs where it ends up in the individual's hands, where the, dividend, the investment income here is kind of thrown in the pot, as it were, and a dividend is paid out there to encompass not only the, uh, the profits of here, but the profits of A as well. It's just all paid out. You wouldn't sort of separately stream the dividends and say, well, this is for this, and this is for that. It's all lumped in the pot. But the point is that the investment income from there to there is tax-free. And these guys may choose not to take it out. So so it has that benefit that it's as long as it stays within A, uh, there's no corporation tax on that investment income from its investment in B Limited. So just a quick video there on, on structuring things. If, let's say, for example, you've got a business already, you've got a limited company and someone else says to you, hey, you know what? Do you fancy going into business with me, doing something a bit different? And rather than them wanting a piece of your action you set up some things from scratch with this other person uh, and the question is how do you do it well that's a good way to do it um so uh just an overview there and a bit of um corporate investing if you like this video please do subscribe and as always i'll see you soon